yoldaşım Hocalı'ya çönüllü. My husband went to Hocalı voluntarily. He was a policeman and we went with him. We had a very good life while living there. This tragedy came upon us after Armenians committed the massacre. My husband was martyred and I was captured. I spent 15 days in captivity. In Hojale, our men hid us in the basement so that Armenians would not capture us. They were gone, but they had put women and children in the basement in order to protect us from being shot. Our men also fought to keep the Armenians away, but they could not prevent it. Armenians came to the basement and caught us. This child was three days old then, and this one was one and a half years old. Then they held us captive. They beat us, punching me in the mouth and ears. I am partially deaf now. My son in that photo was hit by a bullet. The bullets hit his head and then his leg. As the child grew, the bullet wounds got worse. We treated him so that he survived. However, we could not heal my other child. My husband worked as a policeman and I could not see him when the Armenians captured me. Later, when the Armenians exchanged us with the captives, I learned that they had shot my husband. They caught me and told me to find my husband and bring him back to them. They told me to bring him alive. I told them that he is my husband, so why should I bring him? At that moment, they hit me with their gun and I fell down. In that photo, I was with my child. It is the 26th anniversary of the Hojale tragedy. We want our lands back from Armenians. The spirit of our children will be glad then. My husband is martyred and let his soul be glad. Our children's soul and the souls of our sisters and brothers will only be glad if we get our land back, Karabakh, and if we can live in Hojale again.